Welcome back everyone. We're back with another video again. Um, just wanted to address something real quickly. So the past few videos I've been doing has been a big issue with audio. So audio has been a bit of a problem because I've been using my phone's microphone. So I've got my phone actually set up to record the cards and then I've got a webcam set up recording myself actually doing the face cam so that way you could get the reactions and everything like that. Now I've gone and got myself a mic. So I've got a new mic, we're gonna give it a go. Today we're gonna to go through Cosmic Eclipse booster box that I've had sitting aside just for the longest time because I've just been overhyped for Hidden Fate. So I'm pretty keen to get into this. We're gonna do half the booster box today. Just gonna to have a quick crack through it and see what we can get. And then we're gonna do a part two of this video and go through the rest of the booster box. I'm gonna chuck in Possibly some hidden fates as well. I know I keep looking down because I got my little stash down there. So I'm going to have a look and see what's going to happen. This is the first time I've ever actually done a full booster box. So bear with me because it's actually a little bit of fun to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all the cards out. Take out the right side. Now the left side and make my little display box which I'm just going to put on the side for now it's just pretty cool so I can actually use that display in a couple of my packs so I think we should shuffle it up just in case there is some sort of pattern I'm going to get one two three four five six seven eight nine from this side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. From this side, put this one away for part two. And just have a little bit of a shuffle up. It's gonna give some people anxiety with how I'm moving the packs. But anyway, what do you do? So let me clean up a little bit of chaos that I've created. I'll put the packs over here on the side and I have no idea what I've done. I've created such a mess. But anyway, let's go. We'll start with the babies and we're going to see if we can pull and we're going to see if we can pull that hyper, hyper rare Charizard breaks in, which everyone's talking about. Seems to be the biggest card to pull in this set. Um, I did open a couple of packs just casually off cam and all that, which I would have posted on the Instagram, which you'll see the links down below in the description. Um, I actually pulled the Lana and Mallow and Lana card, which was really cool, such a nice card. Really cool, quite valuable as well, which I was quite impressed about. Um, another thing going on in this video as well is I've also got a new mount for my phone so I can actually get a vertical view and I'm not having to dodge any mounts or anything like that. We've got a reverse holo and polygon and starting off with the Flygon GX straight off the bat. I'm gonna put that over there and move these. Yeah. So it's pretty exciting. We've got to pull off our first pack, that's pretty mad. Um, but yeah I've made a couple of changes that I'm pretty excited about. I'm trying to improve and sort of adapt to everything as I go. I'm still learning a lot of this YouTube stuff. It's um, a bit to take in, it's a bit to adjust to, but I feel like I'm getting there every video. I'm trying to sort of do something different or do something a little bit more. I'm going to adjust that so I'm not getting light on the card. So we've got the Fairy Energy, which is the last set that we're getting Fairy Energy, guys. I'm sure you're all aware that they're not going to be in the Sword and Shield release. I'm not sure what's going to happen further um, when the next set gets announced, if they're going to bring it back, but we'll see what happens. Cool, that's a very nice reverse holo, Ultra Necrozma, followed by a Weaver regular rare. All right, guys, this is a pretty cool box. I must admit, this is a very underrated set, in my opinion. Some of the cards in this set are Unreal, I haven't got all the character cards yet. Ooh, almost looked at that. Lucky I was looking at the camera and not at the 
cards, so I don't know what I'm pulling. You probably all saw it, I probably gave it away already. So we got another Fairy Energy. Guzman Hala, Ends Resolve, Morwa, Cottony, Rowlet, Phantom, Alolan Grimer, Magnemite, Will, Reverse Hollow, followed by a Mega Lapani and Jigglypuff. I think that's the, that's, no, that's not the full art, that's the GX. That is awesome. So, first time pulling that card, I think I've got the flag on already. I think that's a card that I have pulled. Um, I'm only three packs in, I've created such a mess. Um, I think I've already got that. I know I did pull the Hyper Rare Flygon GX out of the Cosmic Eclipse ETB, uh, which is online. I do have a video of that in the channel, and I'll have a Cosmic Eclipse playlist as well. So if you want to see anything Cosmic Eclipse or Hidden Fates, everything will have its own playlists down below. So feel free to check those out as well. All right, we've got a Darkness Energy, a Rotom, Erika, Jolteon, I'm flicking these cards so aggressively. Oddish, Rolts, Sandigast, Feel, Feel, <laughs> Spiel, Reverse Hollow for Bebe, and a Hollow Graphic Rosa Trader card. That's actually really nice. Cool. Not going in my pile though. I think I don't think it'll do Megalopunny any justice. Let's go from this pile. So I've got two piles going. I haven't got any trainer cards yet, and I've only got one trainer card, and that's the Stoutland trainer card, uh, not trainer card, character card, and I've got a double of that, which is quite frustrating, but anyway, it doesn't seem like the character cards are too hard to pull, so we'll see, maybe we'll be able to get a few in this booster box. We've got a Fire Energy, Clay, Cricketune, Curlia, Curlia, no, nah, Curlia. Palpatoad, Cricketot, Apom, Woobat, Ducklet, Reverse Hollow Woobat, and a regular rare Armaldo. Right, I'm going back to the first pile of cards because I seem to be getting the pulls from this pile. Another thing that's a little bit of a mental note as well is not flipping over the packs when you open it because with hidden fates obviously every code card is white and green so this is back to normal another adjustment is you're not going to get a shiny you're not going to get those big pulls that you get in the hidden fates set which makes the hidden fates set such a great set and the ridiculous hype behind the hidden fates set is well well deserved so it'll be interesting um, to see what happens. I'd like to see what they do with Sword and Shield, and I'd like to see if this year they come out with a new set, and if Pokemon brings out a new set that will rival the Hidden Fate set, which would be pretty cool. But we'll see what happens. We've got a Metal Energy, Jolteon, Ends Resolve, Morwile, Alola Meow, Rolts, Persimian, Jengma o, o Rowlet, Reverse Hollow Sylveon, Followed by a Raichu, which has such cool artwork. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Alright guys, we're not doing too bad. I think I'm just about almost halfway through the pile. I think I've done five or six packs now. Let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I'm slower than I thought. We're not quite there yet. I saw that one. Anyway, so one, two, three, four. Still going to go through. That's what the fun's about. Water energy. Another thing with this set, which I do like, which I'm sure you guys all already know, you can still get a character card even if the code card is green. It's pretty cool. Will. Scroll. Pikachu. Teddy Ursa. Nosepass. Litleo. And there it is. We got the Gallade character card. That's awesome. That's so cool. I actually really wanted to get that. And then the regular rare Sylveon behind. That's really nice. That's an awesome card to pull. I'm actually really happy that I got that. So that perfect timing proved my point. 
you can still get an awesome pull in this set without getting that white and green character, um, not character card, code card. Has a little bit more of a thrill to the pack because especially in the normal sets, the late sets, um, once you get that green, you kind of lose a bit of excitement and don't really enjoy opening the pack as much. But if you don't see the code card, then you just go through the thrill and the surprise. We've got a ward energy. So it makes it a little bit more interesting. But Lilith, Rotom, Erika, Magnemite, Lilypup, Trapinch, Sneasel, Sphere, Reverse Hollow Pancham with a regular rare Amboa. Amboa? Amboa. That's how I'm going to say it for now. Amboa. Alright, guys, we're doing quite well. We're coming up to halfway through this booster box. Uh, sorry, halfway through halfway of the booster box. Almost flipped it over again. I think I was covering a letter on that one. So there you go. We got one, two, three, four. Another thing I'd like to see in the Sword and Shield set is how they do their card trick. It'll probably take some adjusting, but I'm sure it won't take too long to adjust to. Um, I haven't seen anybody do any of the English Sword and Shield booster packs just yet, so I'm pretty keen to do that. I do have one pre-ordered, and I'm hoping to get a video on release day and possibly... Don't worry about that for now. That is unreal. Full art trainer, Cynthia and Caitlin card. Holy crap moly. That's so cool. That's awesome. I haven't sleeved anything up. I've got four full arts already. Um, I need to find my sleeves. Where are my sleeves? I'll be right back. A few moments later. I'm just going to edit that little part out right there and get some sleeves going. I think for now, I'm just going to get this Caitlin, Cynthia and Caitlin card sleeved up. Because that's cool. I'll sleeve the rest up before we go for the recap. So that way we can focus on doing the packs. My OCD is kicking in right now because I can see the cards are crooked on display. Bear with, bear with fam. All right, let's get back into it. All right, that was aggressive. Jollies. All right, code card for review. One, two, three, four. That's cool. I don't know if that counts as a hyper rare or not. 228 out of 236. So no, it was not a secret rare, which is pretty cool. We've got a fairy energy. So it means we still have that chance of getting a hyper rare, secret rare sort of pull from this booster box. Seems pretty common but does not necessarily mean it will happen. Uh, Roltz, Persimian, Jangma Oro, Rowlet, Skrelp, Reverse Hollow Magnemite, followed by a regular rare Meg Cargo. All right, I think that's officially halfway through. We got two, four, six, eight packs to go. I'm having a ball. This is good. My cards still aren't straight. My OCD is absolutely kicking in right now. But I just can't look at it <laughs> until I get a bit of a bearing. It is hard adjusting to the camera because the way the camera is now is much better for the video. But um, I'm used to having the camera right in front of me. So it was a lot easier to take notice of the cards, see where everything is and all of that. No, I've, I've done that already. Three, four... Lucky that wasn't the rare. Fighting energy. Celio. Draw energy. Cosmo. Carvana. Tepig. Togodomaru. Onyx. Waoma. Reverse Hollow Galurk. Followed by a holographic Soul Galeo. That's really cool. I like that. I like where the hollow pattern really complements the flames there. That's awesome. A lot of these cards are new for me to pull, so I'm quite excited to see how far along I'm going in this binder. This set's uh, list of secret rares and everything is just ridiculous. I think the total is 282 cards in this set, which is humongous, but um, it does make it a little bit interesting to try and go for the full set, let alone the master set. Hopefully, 
I can do it, but uh, we'll see what happens. I, I, th I think I've put a bit too much energy. I keep looking down every time I think of hidden fates because I've got some tins sitting right here. I think I've put a bit too much energy into hidden fates and neglected everything else that's going on. I missed a couple of packs like the Sword and Shield um, starter kits with the starter Pokemon. Hey, character card Steelix. That's awesome. That's another new one and a regular rare Groudon. That is cool. This is great. I hope I haven't shuffled all the rare pools and the big pools onto one half of this opening because otherwise we are going to have an absolute dud of an opening on the next video. But there is only one way to find out and that's to carry on and see what we can do next. All right, guys, I'm going to start going through a little bit quicker. Stuff that up again. One, two, three, four, because I am taking a bit too long to do half a booster box. Darkness Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Hakamo O, Heard You, Heard Go, 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 Go. That's like the Batman. <laughs> That's like the old um, Batman meme song. Oh my god. Memories. Galette, Jupiter, Helioptile, Alolan Grammar Reverse. And a regular rare lantern. Oh, I just gave myself a little, like a little bit of a chuckle there. That's that's so funny. Anyone anyone from my generation should remember that. <laughs> but we'll see. All right, guys. If you are enjoying yourself and you're liking what you see and you're enjoying the content that's coming out on this channel, please remember to like and subscribe so that way. I can see you guys are having a bit of fun and enjoying the content that's going up. I will try and keep this content as regular as possible. Um, I do work full time. I do have a family to keep in mind as well. So YouTube is a priority to me, but obviously it's not my first priority. It's not my primary income. I do need to focus on real life for now. Reverse wheezing. All right, holographic. Florgis, they're Florgis. I'm going to call it Florgis. I don't know. So, right now, it's not really anything for me other than doing it to entertain you guys, create a little bit of fun, and start a little bit of a community. But, um, yeah, like I said, I do work full time. I'm doing 50 plus hours a week. I do have two kids and a wife. Um, that's all priority. But I would like to be able to do this a little bit more so that way I can put out more content for you guys. So it would be fun. Ambipon. Linus Fishing Rod. Tangela. I was about to say Tangela for some reason. Duskull. Timpole. Piplup. Cosmog. Reverse Hollow. Floet. With a regular rare Trevenant. I uh, seem to have pumped through the last few packs to keep on top of time, which is why I just dropped a card. But anyway, I'll pick it up later. All right. Let's have a peek. Nope. But like I said, we still might get a character card on this one. And we've got a fighting energy. Golduck. Pangoro. Heracross. Flabebe. Shfiel. Natu. Palpatoad. Jangmo. Reverse Hollow Natu. Followed by a Slur Puff. All right, guys, we're down to our last two packs. I'm going to leave the babies till last. They seem to bring me more luck. Um, actually, pretty hyped because I got the Hyper Rare um, Babies card from the Tag All Stars Japanese set. And that was actually out of the Unlisted Leaf Mystery Box. So that was, that was really cool. That's such a nice card. It's such a cool card. I hope I get it in the English version as well. One, two, three, four. Because I'd like to get both copies of that card. We've got a Metal Energy, Flareon, Eagly Buff, Will, Eevee, Flabebe, Sneasel, Natu, Trapinch, Reverse Hollow Groudon. So that's a reverse rare right there. And a regular rare Galark. Let's see if I'm right and how we go. With the babies, so I'm gonna do like normal and not check the back, and we're gonna see what we can do. Two, three, four. 
All right, last pack magic. Let's see what happens. Psychic energy. Mallow and Lana. Got full out of you. Cosmo. Clay. Shvil. Natu. Palpitoad. Jagma O. Dealing. Reverse follow Anorith. Followed by another regular rare Galurk. Overall, 18 packs. Yeah, 18 packs out of 36 of the booster packs. We did pretty well. Um, I'm just going to go for a quick recap. And we're going to see what happened in today's video. No. Um, what we're going to do, I don't think I'm going to go for a recap today because the way the camera's positioned, I actually get to show off all the cards. We are going to go through them quickly just to get a closer look on what we did pull today. So we've got the Flygon GX first pack luck there. The Megalopunny, just bumped the camera, Megalopunny and Jigglypuff GX. The Gallade character card, which I really wanted. That's really awesome. Next one, I want to get red, um, the Pikachu. And I want to get the red and blue card as well. Card That will be really cool. Steelix character card. And the pull of the day is that Cynthia and Caitlyn card. So guys, stay tuned for part two. We will be getting up, up as soon as possible. Um, if you did enjoy what you saw today and you are keen to see what happens in our next video, hit the like button, stay subscribed, have a notification switched on so that way you can get alerted for when our next video goes live. Let me know what you think. If you have seen our past videos, if the audio is better, let me know because um, I appreciate a little bit of feedback. So that way I know that I am improving and moving forward with the channel as well and growing a little bit for you guys too. So have fun. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two. Bye. Bika, bika.